if this is wilting point on a graph and we were graphing moisture in the soil and this is oven dry down here and this is wilting point here and this is field capacity here okay somewhere between field capacity and wilting point our plants start becoming affected by water stress and we don't want water stress because we want high production and or good quality as in a sweet tasting carrot, a good peach, etc., a good potato. Okay, so somewhere in here between field capacity and wilting point is readily available moisture or management allowable depletion. Okay, so what we want to do is manage our irrigations such that when we approach the soil moisture approaches are uh, having used our management allowable depletion or readily available moisture that we irrigate again. So if this line represents our management allowable depletion, this is a time when we would want to irrigate again as the plant uses water. We call that evapotranspiration or ET. Sometimes we call that consumptive use, CU consumptive use or ET evapor uh, uh, evapotranspiration. So as the plant uses that water and gets close to this management level that we're talking about, it's time for us to irrigate again and bring it back hopefully close to field capacity. So we don't ever want it to get to wilting point. Now in most crops, most field crops, we can use 50% of the available moisture and that's what we would call the readily available moisture or sometimes it's our irrigation system. If our irrigation system can only put on so much water, let's say like a pivot, usually only puts on a couple of inches, inch and a half, two inches of water, then that becomes our management allowable depletion. But normally we can use about 50% of the readily available moisture between field capacity and wilting point. So let's see how this works out. Let's say that let's say that we have a loam soil. That's the texture of our soil. And a loam soil in general will hold about 2 inches of water per foot of soil. Okay? So, if our plant, well let's say that our plant Remember, this is soil plant water relationships. If our plant is alfalfa, alfalfa, remember, has a big, strong, deep tap root, and it has probably, we'll use a root zone of five feet. So, in a root zone of five feet at two inches per foot, if I have a five foot root zone times two inches of water per foot, I would have 10 inches of water in the profile. However, Remember, I just mentioned that we're going to start stressing the alfalfa if we try and pull the water below 50%. And so I then, to get my high production of alfalfa, good quality alfalfa, then I want to be only use half of that 10 inches of moisture. So I'm dividing that 10 by 2 to get half, 50%. And that's five inches of water. So I would only want to use five inches. I would only want to use five inches of water before, and then I'd want to irrigate again. Unless my irrigation system can't put on five inches, then I want to put on the, use the amount of water that my irrigation can put on, and then, then uh, irrigate again. Now, if our irrigation system could put on five inches, and my evapotranspiration was a third of an inch a day, then I would take my five inches, divide it by this third of an inch, and this would give me what we would call our frequency. This would tell me how soon I would need to irrigate again. So if our irrigation could put, system could put on five inches and we are in the hot part of the summer, when we were using a third of an inch a day, we would need to irrigate every 15 days. 
If we were in the spring of the year, however, and wanted to put on and had five inches readily available to use uh, here at field capacity, and we we're only using about a tenth of an inch a day because it's still we're still in cool spring weather. Now, how many days can we go between our next irrigation? If we divide that by 10, you could go 50 days or more. So let's say that the plant started using water around April 1st or the 15th or something. Let's just say April 1st. You could go clear almost to the end of May before you would need to irrigate if you came out of winter with a full soil profile. Now I'm going to tell you that we have an irrigation system and our irrigation system can put on only three inches of water per irrigation. Okay? So our irrigation system is only capable of putting on three inches of water. Okay? So now, remember I told you our irrigation system becomes the limiting factor and it becomes the amount of irrigation water we can put on becomes our management allowable depletion. Okay, so instead of going two inches per foot times five feet equals ten inches and taking fifty percent of that ten inches of available water, which is five inches, our irrigation system can only put on three. So we can't use five inches before we irrigate. We can only use three. So this is no longer our management allowable depletion. This is. So now if we have three inches of water and we're using three, 33 hundredths of inches of water per day in evapotranspiration, that becomes now a nine day frequency. And if you remember our frequency before, using the five inches was 15 days.